Hello my dear friends, welcome back to CSCR at home. In this video, we can study about amino acids. In the previous video, we have studied amino acid classification based on their R groups, aliphatic, aromatic, etc. Okay. So here, there are four groups that is based on their polarity. We can classify it hydrophobic and hydrophilic. The non-polar group is known as hydrophobic. Okay. So the polarity varies from non-polar to non-polar and hydrophobic to polar and hydrophilic. Okay, hydrophobic means water insoluble. Hydrophilic, water soluble. So the first one is non-polar R groups. Okay, amino acids with non-polar R groups and hydrophobic. Example, alanine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, glycine, methionine, proline, phenylalanine and tryptophan are examples of non-polar amino acids. Here, alanine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, glycine, methionine are which group? Aliphatic amino acids. Phenylalanine and tryptophan we have already studied. These two are aromatic amino acids. Proline we know contains amino. Okay. These are the structure. We can check this one. Okay. The alanine, valine, leucine, isoleucine. These three contain side chain with large hydrocarbon. That is large aliphatic side. Which one? Valine, leucine. Valine, leucine and isoleucine. Okay. This one carries large aliphatic side chains. Okay. And these four amino acids, alanine, valine, leucine and isoleucine, they tend to cluster together rather than contact with water. Okay, when they are in a protein, okay, what they doing? They tend to cluster together rather than contact with water. That means these are hydrophobic in nature. And these four amino acids, alanine, valine, leucine and isoleucine, okay, this is very important in protein structure, okay. Three dimension structure of water soluble protein are stabilized by the tendency of hydrophobic group to come together. Okay, the three-dimensional structure of water-soluble proteins are stabilized by this tendency, hydrophobic effect. Then glycine. Glycine is the simplest, okay, simplest amino acid, okay, simplest amino acid. Make no contribution in hydrophobic interaction, okay, no contribution, okay, no contribution. Even though it is a hydrophobic amino acid, it make no contribution, no contribution in hydrophobic interaction. Next one is methionine. Okay, methionine is a which amino acid? It contains a sulfur. That means methionine is a sulfur containing amino acid. Okay, it contains which group? Methionine contains which group? We have already studied which group methionine contains. It contains thioether group. Okay, it contains non-polar thioether group. Okay, non-polar Thio either group. Then next comes proline. Proline has immuno group that we have studied. Proline has immuno group that is pyrrolidin. Okay. The side chain. Okay. The side chain bound to both nitrogen and alpha carbon atom. It has a greater influence in protein structure. Okay. It has a great role in determining protein structure. Okay. Next, we can study aromatic non-polar group, which are the phenylalanine and tryptophan. These two are aromatic amino acids that we have studied. Phenylalanine contains aromatic non-polar group, which group? Benzene. Then next is tryptophan. Tryptophan is also an aromatic amino acid with non-polar group, which is the non-polar group here? Indole group that you have studied, okay? Indole group. It is less hydrophobic, okay? These two also participate in hydrophobic reactions. Okay? So phenylalanine is truly non-polar. Tryptophan, less hydrophobic compared to phenylalanine. Next, polar uncharged R groups. Amino acids with polar uncharged R group, which are the tyrosine, serine, threonine, cysteine, asparagine, and glutamine. These First three, tyrosine, serine, and threonine, contains hydroxyl group. This is tyrosine, okay? Tyrosine is 
is an important functional group in some enzymes okay tyrosine then the cysteine which contains which group sulfhydryl group cysteine contains sulfhydryl group this is more reactive this is more reactive which one cysteine is more reactive when a pair of sulfhydryl group come together they tend to form disulfide bond then we have studied these three groups tyrosine serine and threonine are polar uncharged r groups with hydroxyl group oh group okay 16 cysteine is also a polar uncharged r group it contains here r group is sulfhydryl group okay. polar nature is due to then next we can study asparagin and glutamine this contains amide group okay amide group this contains amide groups here the Polar nature is due to amide. We can call it as carboxamide. Then we can study positively charged basic R groups. Okay. Examples lysine, arginine and histidine. Lysine and arginine are we have studied dibasic monocarboxylic acid. Okay. Dibase. Okay. Dibasic monocarboxylic acid. Then arginine contains which group? guanidinium group okay guanidinium group arginine contains guanidinium group then history imidazole group history is which one the aliphatic or aromatic it is aromatic history is mainly found in active site of enzymes then negatively charged r groups amino acids contains negatively charged r groups that is acidic r groups which are they aspartate and glutamate okay aspartic acid and glutamic acid it contains two carboxylic acid okay negative that means it contains one more carboxylic acid and that imparts its negative charge next is uncommon amino acids okay next we can study uncommon amino acids which are they, they these are derived amino acids Okay, study these ones for MCQ type questions. 4 hydroxy proline, then 5 hydroxy lysine, 6 N methyl lysine, desmosine, selenocysteine, ornithine, and citrulline. This 4 hydroxy proline, the name indicates you can assume this is derived from proline, and 5 hydroxy lysine, it's derived from lysine. Okay, this, these two are present in collagen okay collagen the hydroxy proline is also seen in plant cell wall proteins where plant cell wall proteins which one four hydroxy proline is also found in plant cell wall proteins okay then 6 n methyl lysine it is present in myosin okay Myosin. Myosin is a contractile protein of muscle. Then desmosin. Desmosin is found in elastin. Elastin is a fibrous protein. The selenocystin is special because it contains, as the name indicates, it contains selenium. The ornithin. Ornithin and citrulline both are intermediate in the synthesis of arginine and urea cycle. Okay, intermediates. These are intermediates. Hope you understood. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.